In this last section, we will focus on the process of air-prone bypass and translesion synthesis. This is what happens when DNA damage is still present in the DNA when the cell enters S phase and undergoes replication of damaged DNA. DNA damage itself does not cause DNA mutations to occur. Mutations typically occur when damaged DNA is not repaired prior to entering into S phase. Recall that when DNA replication occurs, the two strands of the DNA are separated from each other, and each one is used as a template to make the daughter strands. However, the DNA polymerase cannot afford to stall out and end replication. Thus, if damaged DNA undergoes replication, the DNA polymerase machinery cannot often identify the damaged DNA base, and it doesn't accurately read the template to place the new DNA nucleotide into the daughter strand. However, the DNA polymerase cannot afford to just stall out and end replication. That could be disastrous for the cell. Thus, it follows a path termed as error-prone bypass or translesion synthesis that allows the polymerase to continue replication in the face of DNA damage. This can result in the formation of a permanent mutation in the DNA sequence. Translesion synthesis has arisen due to the evolution of DNA polymerases that can tolerate the presence of distorted DNA lesions and continue with the replicative process. It is present in all forms of life, from bacteria to fungi to homo sapiens. Utilization of these alternate polymerases are tightly regulated so as not to introduce incorrect bases in other locations of the DNA. During synthesis around a lesion, it is likely that none of the DNA bases will be able to form hydrogen bonds correctly with the altered base. Typically, the least bulky residue will be inserted, providing a three-quarter chance of getting it wrong. Following replication, the damaged base would then be repaired, and the opposing strand would be used to correct that DNA damage. This can result in transition or transversion mutations. It's not clear if translesion synthesis occurs directly during replication as pictured here, or if a primase enzyme will skip the lesion altogether and then reprime the DNA template strand downstream to allow for the replication process to continue occurring. A specialized damaged DNA polymerase would then go back and fill in or synthesize the region that has the lesion. This would then be followed with DNA repair. This would be two mechanisms for error-prone bypass to occur. Alternatively, DNA replication can utilize template switching to replicate a damaged region. And in this scenario, the genetic integrity of the system will be maintained. So as the DNA is being replicated, here are the two template strands of the DNA you can see that when it comes upon this lesion, the DNA polymerase and replication machinery is going to allow for the opposing strand to replicate this area. And then it can use the daughter strand in this process called template switching to be able to use that as a template region for this section so that it can accurately put in the correct DNA nucleotide, and then following DNA replication, that damaged base could be repaired. Template switching has the advantage of maintaining genetic integrity of the system. However, translesion synthesis does exist, and it's competing with this process of template switching to replicate around DNA damaged sites. So you are going to get this possibility of generating mutations if you replicate damaged DNA. That will conclude our discussions of DNA damage, repair, and this translation synthesis process.